going on you guys all right so this video is another sort of sad video but unlike the, the tragedy of Snape video I will be including some you know background theme music just cuz well it's raining out and it doesn't need to any yeah it doesn't need to be any more depressing than that so with that being said let's get right into it okay what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna explain the lore of a Kingdom Hearts character named Roxas and also the lore between him Axel and Shion this is a series called character lore and this is the very first episode called The Tragedy of Roxas. Let's get right into it. Okay, so Roxas came to be at towards the end of Kingdom Hearts 1 when Sora gave up his heart to save Kyrie. He became a heartless, but when someone with a strong heart and will loses their heart and becomes a heartless, a nobody is created. Hence, the existence of Roxas. Now, Roxas, because he came to be, and then Sora was restored immediately after, Roxas was still able to exist alongside Sora, but Roxas had no memory of being Sora. And then he was approached by Xemnas, who gives him purpose and gives him a name. After joining the Organization 13, Roxas meets two other nobodies, Axel and Shion. Now you meet Axel's somebody in Birth by Sleep, what he's known as Lee, and somehow he loses his heart and becomes a nobody. And Shion is a, is a, well, a puppet. A replicated clone of, of Sora's memories of Kairi. And so she has no memory of being either Kairi or Sora. And the three of them spend a lot of time together and they become very close friends and they meet at the top of the tower in Twilight Town and have sea salt ice cream every day. Later, you find out that Xion can wield a Keyblade A fact that the organization uses and abuses. They do this. They do it to both Roxas and Shion because they need hearts to create Kingdom Hearts so that they can regain their hearts for some reason. It's never really clear why they want to be somebody's again. And then towards the end of three, five, eight over two days. Roxas is constantly being compared to Sora, and he gets fed up. And after Shion discovers what she is, she goes missing. And she keeps running away from the organization. Then she meets Namine. And Namine is the nobody of Kairi. Namine informs Xion that in order for Sora to wake up because he falls into a deep sleep, either Xion or Roxas has to disappear forever. And Xion decides that it's time for her to go. And 
Throughout his time in the organization, Roxas constantly asks Xemnas and the other members for answers, but no one is willing to tell him anything, not even his supposed best friend Axel. And towards the very, very end, Roxas leaves the organization. And then he meets Shion at the at the clock tower in Twilight Town. And she says that it was time that it that it's time for her to go. And she provokes Roxas to fight her. And ultimately Roxas wins and Shion fades away. And throughout the 5 over 2 days, he learns what emotions are, and he learns about friendship, and the importance of friendship, and He is most familiar with sadness and anger. And as Shion dies in his arms, he couldn't help but cry. And nobodies don't have hearts. They're not supposed to cry. And then one of Shion's last words were to... Were for Roxas to free Kingdom Hearts and release all those hearts that she collected. Then, Roxas goes to the world that never was, but he's intercepted by Riku moments after learning that he can dual wield Keyblades. He fights Riku and ultimately defeats him. Then Riku surrenders to the darkness in his heart. And, well, he ultimately cheated. He takes the form of, An of Ansem Seeker of Darkness. And, He subdues Roxas. In, in other words, he knocks him out. Him and Ansem the Wise, the true Ansem, put him in a digital Twilight Town. It's about seven days, which is the prologue of Kingdom Hearts 2. He lives a very naive existence, believing that that is his actual life, when really, it was all a bunch of lies. Then Axel comes into the picture and tries to tell him to come back to the organization with, a, with him. And sooner or later, he remembers everything. But he knows that the right thing to do is to return to Sora. And he does. When you look at Roxas, you know that he's a very tragic character. And Axel did his best to bring his friend back, but to no avail. Xion is ultimately forgotten. Hopefully, we'll see Rox's return in Kingdom Hearts 3. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I just felt like doing it just because, as I've said before, Roxas is my favorite character. Simply because he has a very sad story. And so do I. I'll be uploading Kingdom Hearts videos. Every other video. So, I'll do... So the next video, I'll do a Harry Potter video, and then I'll do a another Kingdom Hearts video, 
and then I'll do a Star Wars video, then another Kingdom Hearts video, so you see the pattern. Well, I hope you all, you all enjoyed the video, so I'll see you next time. Bye.